Hello and welcome to a Maths High Level video. I'm going to prove inequalities using induction. So here's what I have, n squared is, must be bigger than 7 plus 1. So I'm going to prove it not for n plus equals 1, excuse me, I'm going to prove it for n equals 8. Because that is the lowest value that I am going to have. It doesn't make sense to prove it for anything else, because that's my condition. Hence we get that 8 squared is going to be 7 times 8 plus 1, which is true, and it's going to hold. So I have the foundation of my uh, induction method. Now I have to make the assumption. So I have to assume that it holds for n equals k, simply, just so you know, and just have to rewrite it, k squared is bigger than k, 7k plus 1. Now, the next step is just as usual. Uh, uh, remember to put for n equals bigger, for, for n bigger or equal than 8. And now I have to prove it for n equals k plus 1. Uh, so if you think about it, the way it's going to be looking, this is my, my aim. My aim is going to be to show that k plus 1 squared must be bigger than 7 times k plus 1 plus 1. And that has to be the purpose of my method of proof. I have to get to that point. Now, I simply open up the, the squared, and I realize that 7, k plus, 7 times k plus 1 well, that's very close to what I have to get. Now, if I just open at 7 times k plus 1, I realize that that's what I get, 7k so plus 1 plus 2k plus 1. Now, I want to get 7 times k plus 1 multiplying. So the way to do that is to fabricate a 7 by simply saying that that plus 2 is going to be 7 minus 5. Now I can take the common factor out, and I get 7 times k plus 1 plus an expression that extra, 2k minus 5. Now, I'm very close to what I have to prove. I've already have that k plus 1 squared must be bigger than 7 times k plus 1 plus 2k minus 5. So that's all good. Now, the thing to realize now is that 2k minus 5, since n must be bigger or equal than 8, it's going to be bigger than 0. Hence, and in fact, it's going to be bigger than 1. Think about it. 2 times 8, 16 minus 5, that's neither. That's my lowest value. Hence, I can therefore assume that k plus 1 squared is going to be bigger than 7 times k plus 1 plus 1, because I already know it's bigger than something that's bigger than that, which is 7 times k plus 1 plus 2k minus 5. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.